Well, thanks very much, everybody, for coming out. And thanks to the community for coming out to send a message to the Premier today that they don't want this stadium demolished just 16 days short of the election. No. You'll be pleased to know. Oh. Yeah. What we see behind us is a lack of trust in the trust and a lack of trust in this Premier and this government. Yes. The good news is that Local Democracy Matters has just now filed proceedings in the Court of Appeal. Yes. That, that regardless of what's happened this week, the case will go on and the argument will be made not just here on the streets, not just there in the ballot box, but also in the court. It is remarkable that just two and a bit weeks out from the state election, the Premier is so uncertain of her mandate, so uncertain that the people behind her and that she may be thrown out, that she's rushing to demolish this, this stadium, just 30 years old, and is not waiting for the ultimate verdict, which won't be delivered in a court, but will be delivered at the ballot box. If only at this coming election, we could throw Alan Jones out of his position as well. But I believe, but I believe if we throw out this government, we will throw out the kind of influence that the people like Alan Jones have had over this city for far too long. We want, we want schools, not stadiums. And in fact, we can have world-class stadiums at a fraction of the cost of this government. I've just come from the Land Environment Court where we're still arguing about whether the injunction that was in place up till Friday should be extended to allow us to hear, reach the appeal date that we've now got set for Monday. And the government, you wouldn't believe how hard the government is fighting against something that seems so reasonable, given all the, the opprobrium about the way this proposal has been carried on. And uh, look, you know, we, we were quite horrified at the way that's going there. But if they do, if we are unsuccessful in getting that injunction extended, that means that they've got three days tomorrow, Saturday morning and Monday probably to, uh, to do what harm they can to this stadium. And I think that would be an outrage. If they, if they do actually proceed to, to, to and that it, by all accounts, that's exactly what they are trying to do. If they are gonna proceed like that, it says everything you need to know about the way this project has been carried out by the government. It's, it's an outrage.